Come on, use it. Oh, you got it. Right now, right now. You got it. I don't want to get the bar. I'm going to sing it for you. You got it. I don't see no beds. Beds the bar. I'm going to teach you that. Let's make it make sense. Beds the bar. You got it. Beds the bar. Beds the bar. Hey. Now, let's see some beds. It got me on EBT. We got it all done. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome to Deep South Cutlery. It is a Saturday and I'm coming here to the knife shop. Sitting around here after run a few service calls, fixing some air conditioning, brought my Bible up here, finish up and studying for tomorrow. And daddy said, run out the mailbox and check the mail. We got a few knives in here. And let's just see what we got, guys. I, we love opening these boxes because we ordered so many knives, we forget what we, what we got. This is from Shannon Lambert. And uh, I'm trying to think where daddy may have got this one right here from. We buy from all kinds of people and everywhere that you can imagine. Let's see what we got right here. Boy, whoever this is, Mr. Shannon or Miss Shannon, that's one of those names you don't know if it's a man or a woman. They package this stuff. And we appreciate that. Yeah, we get sometimes some packaging in here that's not real, not up to par. Man, you get a nice knife. That's kind of crazy. Let's see what we got here. Let's show some bubble wrap. Y'all, when you open your knives, even if you order a knife from us and it's, it's not, not in a box, be careful when you you got a sharp knife. You just got to use the very tip end of it or you will get in there. And I have done it. I have gouged a fine knife before. Oh, oh, man, man. That's it right there. What is that? One, two, three. Four, five, six. That is a 1970. That's a 10 dot. 10 dot elephant toe. You know, these elephant toes have single springs. So it's almost impossible to open. Uh, you can do it. But boy, you'll rip your thumbnail off if you try to open that small blade when this one's kind of cocked at a 45. But check that thing out. Maybe a touch of carbon. And I once I get the sunshine cloth on that, I may can get a lot of that out of there. But guys, never been used, carried, or sharpened. Oh man, y'all know I love the elephant toes. Y'all know I love them, and that one right there is a fine one. And and we, I should have opened that one last because I mean, if the good gracious alive, if this one's any better, it's gonna be a wonderful day here at Deep South Cutler. It already is. But boy, check that out right there. Let's bring this up here so y'all can see it in the background while we're while we're looking there. Man, Mr. Shannon, Miss Shannon. Thank you so much. That is a, that's a good one. This one right here, get here and open this up. Sylvia Conley, Sylvia Conley. And uh, let's see what we got going on right here on this one. And of course, cause I'm backwards, I'm gonna open up the bottom of the box. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's move this stuff out of the way. Oh, whatever this is, it's in a sheath these boxes here and see what we got it's a case knife well or at least a case sheath oh man it's gonna be a mako ain't it yep case mako what year is this one two that's a eight dot that's gonna be a 2002 2002 mako that is nice with the sheath 2002 that's the year i I met the Lord. I was 14 years old. Check it out. Case on that big bolster there. Y'all, if you ain't ever messed with the Makos or the Hammerheads, in, in, in my opinion, that's Case's, uh, that's Case's attempt to kind of, uh, kind of match the 110 and 112 buck knives with those big old bolsters. Uh, and they made them, I think back in, the, I've never seen anything earlier than the 70s. But that is a fine Mako knife right there. Now, I'm guessing that's the original sheath. Y'all, one thing about these, if you get a Mako or a hammerhead, and a lot of you know this already, you get a Mako or a hammerhead, that brass, those brass bolsters are bad, or even the uh, the, the 112 uh, bucks, 110 bucks, with those big, big black, uh, big brass bolsters, big brass bolsters. Boy, that's tough to say. They will tarnish, get that old green, gunk on them. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Y'all seen it probably before. And these leather sheaths probably aren't the best way to store them. 
if you're gonna store it in a yellow sheet, you probably wanna wrap it up in some kind of good paper, uh, you know, good case paper or, uh, they, uh, I love what GEC does, they, cause all their stuff, carbon steel, they, they use that as like an oily paper. But guys, this is a great mail call. Great mail call. Let's show you one more time, run down. And I guess you, I guess these will probably be available Thursday night for auction. Case Mako, Case Elephant Toe. We got the short and we got the, the great beast of the jungle. Beautiful knives, beautiful knives, both with wood scales. I don't know what kind of wood that is, maybe ebony. And I'm sure this is gonna be a pack of wood. Most of those elephant toes are pack of wood, but it's, that's an awesome, that is an awesome trip to the mailbox out front there. It's 148 degrees outside, but it's worth going to the mailbox if you pick one of the, some of those up. Check it out, let's scroll in there real fast and get a good view for Uncle Bob so that he can put this on the, on the deal there. Mm, that is nice. And as always, opened up and brought to you by the Case Longhouse S35VN. That's what I've been toting in my pocket. And guys, I do really like it. I drug it across some leather yesterday and that S35VN popped right back. Deep South Cutlery, good times, great knives. Y'all like and subscribe. Thank y'all so much for all you do. Check out everything we got around here at the, at the shop. Man, we just got knives coming out our ears. Coming out our ears. Thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe. Check us out Thursday night. We'd love to see y'all. Until next time, God bless you.